What's good? What's happening? It's your boy, the one and only Wonder. We back again with another video, and today, hey, it is what it is, man. So I just found out that oh, allegations, you know, like as you can see by the thumbnail, we had to talk about our one and only the current. I say current because it's evident the current king of New York in the drill scene in the hip hop game. We're here to talk about Favio Foreign. I mean, everybody know Favio at this point because, you know, the guy with the New York City, please don't. That song. All right. Uh, with Alicia Keys, Kanye. We know Favio with the drill, you know, with the dances and everything. Like, Favio has been killing the scene from last year to this year. Like, he came... Actually, when I think about it, Favio came from nowhere. Favi came from nowhere, right? Yes, he was like uh, close friends with Pop Smoke. Pop Smoke was the king of New York. And then after the passing of Pop Smoke, Favi, Favi's career was on a slow pace. And then from nowhere, boom. Favio is on top of the game. All right. And you obviously like when you're on top of the game, you get a lot of people who are trying not to be who are trying to be on, on, on top too. They they are trying to take your top spot. They are trying to be that person. You're always gonna get somebody poking at your door, you feel me? Right, so now here's the thing. Fabio was on a podcast as and he went, he spoke about Mace. He went on saying Mace gave him five thousand. He signed him for five thousand. We need to go sit down, meet him. I'm saying I ain't gonna lie. He just pulled out the paper and I just signed the shit. Like you know what I'm saying, like immediately. You, you so so was it no lawyer, no shit, no nothing. Nah, the the nigga who bought me to him, he was saying he was like, yo man, just sign that shit. You bugging? I'm like, yeah, read it. He like, ah, right, he just signed. It's good. I'm so I just signed it. And was it advance anything? It was just like yeah, the advance five thousand dollars. Five thousand? Yeah. Go who who? He, he he signed you for five thousand. That's all a nigga gave you. That's all he gave me. I five thousand was a lot. To, it, five thousand hit, and he's still in that deal. But I feel like we look at that, but then we forgetting that for Mace too, it was a risk to even risk that five thousand, right? <laughs> Yo, hey, that's a, that's a, that's a lowest advance for any deal, right? Mace was actually risking his money. What if Vavi didn't go through as we all like who he is right now today you know it would be a waste of five grand that mace would have wasted you feel me mace then went on to speak to uh gilly and wallow like the two brothers they have their own podcast to review a lot of things that actually make me question fabio's credibility as a gdk as a rapper as a businessman like all of it because i felt like fabio went on Talking about Mace, I feel like he was trying to say, Mace, you came for Diddy, saying, Diddy, did you shy still with the money and the deals? But you did that to me when I was coming up, right? But then Mace went on and brought receipts and talked about how he gave the advance of five grand to Favi. And then they went on, they signed the deal with, apparently there's a third party into the story. And then they got some funds. Um, Favi ended up the where they were supposed to take 800 800 Favi ended up getting paid 750 of which he explained why he had to give Favi 750 instead of 800 because he said he had to pay for some expenses Favi had to pay for his own expenses some expensive that expenses that um, Mace had to encounter or like pay for Favi so he had to take back his 50 grand. Because what he came up here and said was very reckless. Oh, did you give him 5,000 though? No, I gave him 750,000. You never gave me 5,000? At one time I gave him 5,000, but I gave him 750,000. Well, why you give me 5,000? Because I set him up to do a deal to where I could control the deal, make the deal what it should be, because I knew if he had the leverage, he would go in there and sell both of us out. So he wasn't able to do that because... But then at the same time, like, okay, business-wise, okay, I understand. So Favi was, you know, maybe lying or whatever. I don't want to say lying because I got so much love for Favi. But then credibility-wise, I'm questioning that. And then we come back to the pioneer himself, 
I don't care how you guys feel. Um, 2-2-G's is the person that brought, that pioneered New York Drill into the USA. Pop Smoke made Drill music cooler, but then 2-2-G's uh, brought Drill New York, period. Right, so 2-2-G's, the godfather of New York Drill, I'ma say it right now. Obviously, they have an ongoing beef with um, Favi because of Pop Smoke. Pop Smoke and 2-2-G's had their own beef, you know, King of New York and all of that. And, yo, there were people getting stabbed and killed, shot at, like, that's a, another story for another video. 2-2-G's went on to Instagram and spoke on situations, you know, um, between him and Favi. And he actually called him out as a fake GDK. If you guys don't know what GDK is, Gangster Disciple Killers from New York. Don't get that mistaken from the ones from Chicago. Different. But yeah, he went on and accused him of being a fake GDK, you know, capping. And Mace actually went through and say that he 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 had booked Favi and Tutu G's at the same time, not away of these beefs and you know runnings. So apparently Favi didn't show up because Favi knew Tutu G's was gonna be on the lineup. And apparently, Favi has been ducking to two G's. Into this, but I mean, we're here, so let's address it. I booked the show for them to come out to Phoenix. Some kid named Two Two G's and Coach the Ghost, I believe, was on the show. I didn't know who those guys were at the time. Today, I know who they are. They just didn't show up at the show. So then they didn't show up to Phoenix for the festival. Who didn't show up? Two Two G. Who didn't show up? Um, five in them. Okay. They didn't show up. Okay. So then they had another show the next day with the kid 22Gs. They didn't show up. I'm thinking I'm doing my job because I'm putting them on stuff with other drill artists. I'm not in that scene. So I don't know that these guys really got smoked together. So they don't show up. I'm asking DJ Magic, like, why these niggas won't get on the plane? Why don't, why they won't come do the show? They just, I mean, like, if you read 22Gs, Rap shit. That nigga dangerous, fam. Like, he looks like a cool guy, but... Hey, he a demon, demon. Like, he a demon, and he's outside for real. Which comes to me to a point where, like, I would say... Favi is an industry plant. I do believe so. Because... One, where did Favi came from? Where the fuck did Favi came from? Right? Two, Favi... Makes a lot of commercial drill, if you understand. He makes commercial music, right? Industry plans make commercial hits, right? To stay relevant and to still push. But then in comparison to people like T2Gs, they make the real drill for New York people. You understand me? They make the real authentic um, drill music. You understand me? I hope you guys... Makes, T2Gs makes the real music for New York people. Like, we connect to that. You understand? Favi makes big moves as an artist right which makes me question like you have a lot of investments behind favi which questions me i think the allegations that 22 g's made i do believe so i do think that favi is an industry plant because there is a lot that we can dig deep and talk about you understand me like i'm just break into that like a lot of people are pushing favi right um, there's a lot of money being pushed, pushing Favi forward, right? And he's making big moves, right? I mean, like, don't get me wrong, right? He's taking huge steps. Like, Favi just went on and have Kanye West execute, produce his album. Kanye. Now, who the fuck is coming from New York? Up and coming is just gonna have Kanye execute, produce his album. Think about that. Think about that. Kanye is like on another level. You understand me? You have to be well connected with the right people. And these are the people at the top for you to have Kanye produce your album. You understand me? Kanye is a marketing genius. So he pushed Favi's agenda. You understand me?
right it's money playing a role into this and you know what i'm gonna go deep into the second video part two but for now i'm gonna cut this video short wait for part two how i really dig deep and talk about this whole mess right i'm gonna catch you guys on the next one make sure you like and subscribe to your boy for more content